Hi, hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to share with you a poem that I've written recently and it's called Ho Hai. Um, for those of you who have been to Beijing or who have lived in Beijing, um, this is a very massive uh, landmark lake. It's an artificial lake of around four kilometers in length and it's um, uh, right across in the middle of the city. And um, I've always uh, been very fascinated by it because that's where um, a lot of different people go. Um, it's like the local people um, and the tourists, um, they all flock to there um, and it changes so much from season to season. Um, and I'm also very struck by its history because um, it's, it's a place, it's such an ancient place dating back to the Yuan dynasty. And um, it often makes me think about uh, what really makes up a place um, and uh, how do you, you know, interpret or how do you reach out to understand a place, the totality of a place with its language and history and um, what you can actually see as an outsider and what you can't see. Ho oh, hi. If you ask me about water, this is the water I think about. The glow of myriad colours on the lake at night. Rickshaw drivers practising their English consonants and vowels with tourists as they pedal past their hutons earning five yuan each time, not even a pound. When Kublai Khan first arrived in Beijing, they called this lake Hai, sea, for they have lived all their lives in the desert and would not have seen much of a sea. A mesmerizing stretch of water from Dianmen all the way to Xinjiakou and Ping An Dajie, and the palace so far away. There you can see Prince Chen Mansion, where the father of Emperor Puyi was born. It's season of lotus flowers and pristine snow. The smell of Xinjiang-style lamb skewers and pork belly, cooked halal tripe, fried sausages, the bicycle bells, the songs from the bars. And the workers, their tanned faces and broad shoulders, Students who frequent here after their classes. Couples who fall in love. Those who come here out of a nameless sorrow, who cannot speak and long to be healed by the sea. And the photo we took at Silver Ingot Bridge. What has become of this country? The dust, even the dust, seems affectionate. And if someone were to whisper to me, Shi Chao Hai, I can feel the restless breeze of history rippling again in the air. Thank you.